If you guys have been following this channel for any length of time, you probably have heard me once, twice, maybe 46 times talk about how much I want a big budget triple A mecha title. I feel like this is just a market that hasn't been tapped into as much as it really should be. Like it's a gigantic robot fighting against one another. I feel like it's a recipe for success waiting to happen. And of course there have been a lot of mecha game franchises. You've had your Gundam games and From Software has done really good work with the Armored Core titles. It really didn't seem like that they resonated at a high level over here in the States. But now From Software is such a well-renowned studio after their work on the various Souls titles and everything they've done with those games. They are going back to Armored Core with Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon and this is a game that I am incredibly excited about. Look, it's a game that let's be honest we still don't know a lot about but I am excited about the fact that we are just going to get a big budget AAA mecha game and it's coming from such a well-renowned studio like From Software and we just had a batch of new information drop about Armored Core 6. Unfortunately, no gameplay or anything like that, but it's still some information to digest and some exciting stuff ahead when it comes to Armored Core 6. So this happened at an interview with Yasunori Ogura, who was a part of a Bandai Namco hosted 18 minute interview. He is the producer of Armored Core 6, of course, and a lot of information was noted and some new information has come out about the game. I'll leave a link in the description box below to Gamatsu, who has a full transcript and a translated transcript of the interview that has a lot of information regarding the game. Of course, for a lot of you guys, this is going to be your first foray into an Armored Core game. It's been a long time since we saw the last entry into the franchise, and for a lot of you guys, you're very familiar with From Software based on their work on the Souls titles, and you're not even aware of the fact that they did Armored Core in the past. So, Agura noted, the first title in the Armored Core series was released by From Software immediately following our entry into game development. We released other titles like Kingsfield at around the same time, but this game was released in 1997 as an exclusive title for the PlayStation. The most recent title in the series was released released exactly 10 years ago, 2013's Armored Core Verdict Day, the 15th title in the series. The most characteristic element of the series is how it allows you to piece together parts to create your own custom mech, which you will then use in the action part of the game. Players can use various different cores, head, and weapons combining these parts together with complete freedom to create their very own mech with which to complete the game's mission. That process lies at the core of the series. The series contains several titles and their stories vary, sometimes featuring desolate wastelands or evil corporations there are always missions to complete which bring you closer to the truth of the heart of each tale. It's an action series, but one with the tremendous depth in terms of both story and customization. The customization element in particular, involving the free assembly part of parts, can be very deep and complex, but it is also one of the most rewarding elements of the game. Playing these games, trial and error plays a large role as you develop your own ideal mech, both in terms of performance and indeed appearance. I guess that's the key point. And yes, if you're a fan of mechs, if you're a fan of these giant robots, custom Customizability is at the heart of Armored Core, and that looks to be no different with Armored Core 6. As far as why there was such a lengthy break between the release of Armored Core titles, Ogura noted there was never any intention to leave this large of a gap, being the 10-year gap between Verdict Day and now with Armored Core 6. We've made a number of titles in the interim and seen a lot of extremely talented developers grow into their roles. Many of us, including Mr. Miyazaki, our CEO, and myself as well, of course, have always wanted to create a new Armored Core title, so there was never really any question that one day we would return to the series. The only real obstacle standing between us and the development of a new title was that our company always had so many different titles on the go and we had to make sure that our resources were appropriately distributed and unfortunately it took quite a long time before we reached the situation that we were ready to begin. As far as Miyazaki, his title for this game is Initial Game Director, which means he directed the initial phase of the game development. Obviously, he didn't do that alone, but he worked together with people like Kenneth Chan, co-director and producer of the game, as well as a range of other developers to establish the game's foundation. This includes such elements as map design, action fundamentals, and other core elements at the game's heart. As far as the focus of development in the title, Ogura noted, we were determined to take advantage of From Software's experience and know how to really establish freedom for the player in terms of what can be done with game controls and customization that lies at the series core. That was a key point we focused on when we played the game. You will see the changing parts affecting the action elements. The action and customization elements really do work together symbiotically, and I really think this is the most important thing. Defining the parameters that govern this relationship was absolutely key. 
As far as differences between Armored Core 6 and the titles you would have seen north of a decade ago, perhaps the biggest difference came from the freedom to spend more time on the game's development and resource, so this one was a practical consideration. The other factor was that as 10 years had passed between titles, we at From Software had developed so many other titles in the interim. Dark Souls 2 to Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Dracine, and of course, uh, others like Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and most recently of all, Elden Ring, all of which changed us. The experience and how uh, and know-how that our game designers and developers built up through these titles was able to be made use of in this title. And speaking of uh, previous titles in the series, such as Armored Core 5, if there's any connection or whether or not you can jump right into it, and that's going to be a big element because, yes, you can jump right into Armored Core 6. In terms of actual storyline, there is no direct connection between 5 and this latest title, which means there is no need to have played previous titles in the series. However, the fundamental concept at the heart of the Armored Core series involving the free assembly and customization of parts to create your own mech remains very much a part of this title. We have prioritized this aspect of the series throughout the development process and combined the system with the know-how and experience experience our teams have acquired through the development of From Software's other acclaimed titles to produce a brand new Armored Core action game that we believe will satisfy our users. And Agora also noted that there's been emphasis put place on the fact that this can be a game to draw in new players. And that's very important given that, again, From Software as a studio is so much bigger than it was in the past in terms of notoriety and appeal. And now you have a franchise that's coming back into the forefront, probably in a bigger presence than ever before, attracting a whole host of new players. We have. We plan to release more details about this in the coming days, but I can talk about one such element today. As I mentioned earlier, one of the key elements of Armored Core is the assembly of various parts to customize your very own mech. It is the element of the game with the most depth, and for many fans, it is the most enjoyable. Seen from the perspective of new users, though, it is very detailed and a complex system, which takes as long of a time to master for a lot of players. At least that has been the case in many of the series' previous titles. This time, we have put a number of new measures in place to help make assembly and customization more intuitive and logical than it has been in the past. As far as the title of the game, the subtitle Spires of Rubicon is derived from the world developed specifically for this new game. The game is set on a planet known as Rubicon 3, and the story begins with the discovery of a mysterious new material there. The overarching backbone of the game's story features the struggle of, for, for control of this material between various corporations and organizations. That sounds like something right out of so many different anime. Um, you know, a specific material that is being fought over. Not only just anime. I mean, that's just the general story that I feel like fits so well in a um, again, that is the overarching backbone. The player character is an independent mercenary working amid these fires of conflict and his tasks of the player to carry out a series of missions amid that backdrop. The girl also noted, naturally, this title also features the kind of parts you mentioned in terms of variations on parts from previous titles. The video showcases a weapon called the Pile Bunker, which drives into the enemy at close range and also features tetrapods, so this title will obviously feature parts of this type as well. In fact, if you watch the trailer closely, there's actually quite a lot of new info about the game hidden in there. And again, there's some ideas and whatnot that is going to be in the game, and customization is continuously reiterated to be at the heart of the game. However, if you have played From Software titles in the past, you might know that they can be fairly challenging. And what is going to be the case with Armored Core? Agora noted, in this game, as always, we have striven to create a game that poses a stiff challenge for our players, and I'm confident we have achieved that. Our approach to the issue of difficulty level in Armored Core 6 is slightly different to other titles, in that the most distinctive feature of the Armored Core series is the combination of parts to customize the player's mech. As this lies at the title's core, it is really the adjustment of these parts that is key to overcoming difficulties within the game. This is the point on which we place the most emphasis in combination with the action system. We have designed a game that rewards using the most appropriate actions in each situation to overcome difficulties and attain a sense of achievement. A focus has been placed on producing the most dynamic action as possible. We have restricted story mode gameplay to single player only, but as an online element, we are also planning the implementation of battles in an online arena. We plan to release more details about this concerning in the coming days. So you're going to have the single player story driven experience, but if you want to jump into multiplayer, that is going to be a separate experience where you can have these online battle arenas. So you're going to get the most of both worlds when it comes to Armored Core 6. They do note one online feature, the title features so-called emblems, as was the case in prior series titles, which are like logos of sorts that you can use to mark your mech. For some time now, players have had the ability to freely create their own emblem, and from the previous title, these can be exchanged online with other players. This will be implemented this time as well, which means the addition of the uh, to the parameters of these mechs that you can customize the visual elements as well in terms of coloring and weathering and the like. So they are going absolutely all in with the customizability, not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but obviously it's going to affect gameplay as it always has, so that's going to be something to jump into as well. 
Agura concluded the interview, noting, Of course, I promise you all during the Armored Core series' 20th anniversary that we would make a new game, and while it has taken some five years since then, we are finally ready to announce Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon to you all. It brings me great pride and satisfaction to have come this far, but I would also like to apologize for making you all wait for such a long time. So, that is the lengthy interview that has been posted via the 18-minute interview with Yasunori Ogura. Now, this is a game that I am incredibly excited for. It is scheduled for release in 2023. It is a cross-gen title so bear that in mind and at this point information as far as gameplay is still relatively sparse but if you're a fan of mech titles I think this is one that you're gonna enjoy Armored Core has been a pretty consistent franchise and you're talking about From Software a studio that has evolved greatly over the past few years with their work on so many other titles that I think everything is coming together for Armored Core 6 to really drop a high quality mecha action game and hopefully this will be the title that I have been wanting for years and years just complaining about why can't we get quality AAA big budget mecha action titles well from software and bandai namco are coming together to bring armored core six fires of rubicon later in 2023 and i hope that this is a game that commercially is a slam dunk as well i think all the pieces are there for unlike a lot of other mecha titles in the past that this is one done by from software they are so beloved in gaming today you're gonna have the bandai namco promotional backing behind it i think everything is gonna be there for this game to hopefully be a commercial success and parlay that into consistent releases for the Armored Core franchise. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts on Armored Core 6, your anticipation level. I know information is still relatively sparse, but uh, as more info rolls out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.